Hey, hello! It's snowing outside, but it's warm in here. And uh, come along, I'm going to do uh, some very basic tool making and some very basic setups on the cutter grinder. So let's get going here. Okay, I'm going to move you closer and hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Now these cutters here are a D-type cutter. And they call it that because you grind away a round section until a D shape is left like that. Now it's the same on the other side, but ground uh, on the other side. And so the length of this cutter is the size of the hole. Well, there goes a little one. Okay, we're going to set that there. So the first step is grinding a flat right here. So I got a flat ground in that and getting this uh, machine set up. Let's see if you can see what we got going right here. Okay, here, here's the little mandrel that I drilled in the old Brown and Sharp uh, milling machine. And uh, that was fun to do. I did a video of making the arbor. It took me seven minutes in the old manufacturing light. But I got a big old parallel sitting here, a one, two, three block, and a, and a cute little square. And I got that uh, square, you see. And I'm going to uh, grind these flats. I'm going to rotate it like that and run it underneath the wheel like that and then index that. Let's get this out of here. This is the length of uh, um, the drill blank material. You can see I notched it. So let me get this out of here. That can go there. This can go over here. Okay, got the head kind of extended over, that's why I did that. So, I take a blank, and you put it in here, and I got this set screw. I got them a little longer, so I can just uh, kind of eyeball them. And, I have my Allen wrench with a handle, and I, I made this uh, the same size. The set screw's a little bit oversized. But it's easier to handle uh, and get it started. Make sure I got that in that notch. Come on, get in there. Huh. One more. Okay, now, um, before I grind that, I got to dress the wheel here. And there's marks here where I can rotate this. I can unlock it and uh, rotate it 90 degrees. That's still not tight, but I'll tighten that up. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, dress that wheel. I got a small dish wheel in there. And dish wheels are really uh, pretty safe. They're safer than um, cup wheels. You gotta be very, very careful with a cup wheel. I'm still using this old tool holder here that the blade gave me. It works pretty good as an alternative fixture. Okay, I'm gonna fire this off. Wheel's going this way, so I'm going to press it on that side. I'm going to have to get around the play button here. Let's see if I can get you so you can see it good. I can see that okay. Okay, so I'm opening it from back here. I'm dropping the head down. And I'm going to feed it in.
So you can swing the uh, other wheel around and uh, grind these notches with this collet chuck. I think I got a notch in there. So this thing <laughs> kind of does a bunch of different jobs. Okay. Now, I'm going to get one of these others in there that I have. I have to modify this screw here. Because I ground a deeper notch. Okay, get that out there. And I had one right here. I get a hold of it. I think it's this one. Okay. Yeah, that worked in there pretty good. Adjust it just a little bit more. Okay, very good. Now this collar here slips so I can index this thing and it's even got a, a, a degree scale. But there's tick mark right here. Line that up and lock it. Okay. See how we're doing here. Okay, let's grind it. Let's start it. Good, it's going to feel cool.
Okay, it's that easy. I'll be back uh, and show some finish work on this. Have a good day.